everyone, I'm Emily Powers, and in this video I'm going to be painting a lamb or a sheep um, in acrylic paint, and it's going to be step by step so that you can follow along and paint with me if you want. Um, I already painted the um, canvas. I just took my sponge and some of this sap green and rubbed it on a couple times, like two different layers. And then I put some green and some brown, my burnt umber, and put it on so it's more of a darker green. And I kind of like tapped it so it's kind of looks a little textured now, but I did that so it would cover a little better with a sponge. But um, so that's why it's this dark green color. But um, the supplies I'm using are in the description. There's also some links in the description where you can buy some of those supplies. And a percentage of your purchase helps support my channel. I also have a link to the brush guys where you can get 5% off of the brushes if you use the code EMILYART. And then I also have my Etsy shop link in there where I have some of my paintings for sale. So um, I'm just going to take some regular white chalk and draw out where I want my sheep to be. And I'll probably go over the background one more time just so that I can still see some of the canvas through. But if that, if you don't worry about that, then you could probably leave it like that if you wanted. But um, I'm just going to find, if this is like the middle, the face isn't quite centered. It's a little off center. So I'm going to put like a mark there. And then I'm going to say this is the middle and this is the fourth. I want to have a fourth mark there. Maybe a little lower than the center or the middle of the canvas. I'm going to have this circle where this is like where his mouth and nose is going to be. And then I'm just going to do the top of his head a little um, bit down from top of the canvas all right and then I'll draw the from this bottom part of the circle I'll come up and meet with the top of the head and then the side of his face, or like his neck here, it's going to come down and then come back. And then on this side, let's see, I'm going to do the ears. I might make his head a little smaller. So his ears come down a little lower than the top of his head. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to draw him over a little bit more because the ears don't really have enough room. So what I can do is I can take a paper towel or a rag and wipe off since, since my background's dry. I can just wipe off that chalk like that. And then I'll put his ears back. So you got his two ears and I'm going to do 
on the side of his face and do this line again and then kind of from where the ear is I'm going to do another line down here and then from here I'm going to do his back. So there's the drawing. It's pretty simple. I'm not going to draw the eyes um, yet, but that's basic drawing and then you can have like his nose like in here something like that so I'm going to first do my first layer of the background so all this back here I'm going to do the last coat in the background this is a half inch number six filbert it's Princeton Summit but whatever brush you like to use for filling in backgrounds will work so I'm going to get my sap green and the burnt umber. So these are the same two colors I already used for the background. And then I'm also going to, after I lay it down, um, I'm before it dries, I'm going to put some yellow, my cadmium yellow medium back there so that it'll have like a little bit of like a yellowy color. And you can go over your chalk a little bit. It's better to go over it a little bit than not close enough and then it have like a weird, weird uh, patch of different colored green around it. That would be funny looking. And just go on the edge. So I got some yellowy color, now I'll do it again. Put my first coat of green. And put some yellow. You don't even have to do the yellow. You could do it a solid color. You don't even have to uh, put the brown and the green, just, you know, you could even change a background to be a different color. It doesn't have to be green. It could be a totally different color. Or it could also be like a gray or something. And just be like a darker gray than the sheep. Alright, so there's the first layer. There seems like there's more yellow on this side, so I'm just going to put a little bit more yellow over here. Maybe get some of my brown and green. And make it a little bit more of that. I got it a little too yellow. some yellow above his head. Alright, so there we go. There's the background. Alright. So now I'll rinse my brush out. I don't want so much green. I'm going to get all that green out. 
and now I will do the first layer on my sheep. So we don't want a green sheep. We don't want to be able to see a bunch of green behind him. So what I'm going to have to do is, um, you can't just put straight white or whatever color you're seeing on top of the sheep because then you would see the green underneath. So you have to kind of look um, in the dark areas underneath the light fur to see what color that is and then you can have that color underneath the lighter fur. So I'm going to get ultramarine blue and burnt umber. It's going to make a pretty dark color and then I'm going to add some white just so that it's not so dark. It makes like a gray and and I'm going to use that in the areas that are kind of darker. So this color is covering that green pretty good. So I'm glad. If it wasn't covering the green, you might want to go back over it again. Now this area is pretty light, so I'm going to get this unbleached titanium. It's pretty light up above. So you don't want to like go too far past where you want the edge of the sheep to go because we're going to have to put some free texture there. So And I'll put like a little bit more of unbleached titanium and burnt umber. Make it a little bit more brown here. So you can take this brown and this blue and in some areas where you see maybe more blue you can do more of the blue and then if it's more brown then you can do more brown. And that'll make it a little more interesting than if it was just um, like plain black and white. You can kind of see it in the picture um, in the corner too. Um, there's some areas that are kind of like a brown color and then some areas that are kind of more blue. And I'm going to take my brown and blue and make it pretty dark and right up underneath his mouth there's going to be pretty dark color there all right so this is just the first layer layer so you don't have to be super worried about how it looks at this point you're just Getting this first layer so that it's covering that green up. Just kind of lightly go on the edges so that it's not like a really thick line there and I'm going to go take a little bit more of my lighter color and put it in this area with the nose and everything nose and mouth Now 
There you go. And now for the ears, I'm going to use the gray and do kind of like an outline. So I'm kind of going to like draw the ear back in with it. Just do the outside edge. All right, so we got those ears in and now the inside of the ear is kind of like a pink, pinkish color. So I'm going to rinse this gray out with my brush. So far this is going pretty fast for this first layer, so that's good. Um, I'm going to take, this is my deep magenta and cadmium yellow medium. That was too much yellow. Some more pink and I'm going to get some brown because it's not it's not going to be a bright pink. I'm going to get some brown and put that in the ear here. And I'm going to get some unbleached titanium with it. and make it a little lighter that'll be what I'll put underneath that dark if you want to just cover that green in there with that that's fine alright so it's kind of funny looking right now, but most paintings look funny looking before they look good. So that doesn't mean that it's going to turn out horrible. It just means that it's ugly at the moment. <laughs> so um, I'm going to rinse this brush out. I think the background's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to have to do anything else with it, but I'll let all this dry and then I can take off the chalk. There's a little bit of chalk left and then I can really see what the edges look like a little better. So let me just make sure this is rinsed out good and I'll let this dry. All right so I took the chalk off with my paper towel. I wet it and took it off like I did earlier. Um, so there is one thing that I want to change. The nose where I left um, where I wanted the nose, I think it's a little too high. I think it should come down a little bit. So I'm going to take my gray and just fill that in and I'll put the nose down lower. Um, and we're going to go slightly over the edges later. So I'm not worried about the edges at the moment. So I'm going to use um, a 3 8 inch lunar blender. It's a Princeton Select and I'm not dipping this one in the water. I'm just going to keep it dry. Um, also, I thought I would say before I move on to the next step, um, if you wonder how I keep the paint wet, I just take a spray bottle with water and spray them. So that keeps them from drying out better. Um, so I'm going to take this brush and it's really it's got really stiff bristles, so you could use another brush that has stiff bristles if you don't have this one. But I'm going to mix some white with this color so it makes an even lighter gray. And I'm going to put that on here. So. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to have a whole lot of paint on my brush and I'm just going to go back and forth 
I'm swirling, I'm doing a circular motion, and I'm just putting some of this white, or not white, but really light gray, on here so that it has that kind of like cotton texture. Like fuzzy. You just don't want to have a whole lot of paint. If you have a bunch of paint, then you're just going to be filling it in solid. You want some of this dark to show through. And I'm kind of doing it at an angle a little bit. I'm just going to put this on here. Having the dark underneath, the really dark, and then having this like lighter, then we're going to put a few other colors on here, and then when you put the bright white on top, then it's mostly lighter colors, like it might be mostly white or whatever you put on top, but you're also going to have some of this gray and this really dark that we already put underneath and that'll make it look more 3D. Now this is getting into this brown area, so I'm going to get some unbleached titanium with a color that I made that had a little bit of burnt umber with the unbleached titanium. I'm just going to put that in here. some fur that's going to kind of like come down. bit of blue to my gray. And just put some blue in a few spots. white now with a little bit of ultramarine blue so it's just like a very light color it's got a little bit of blue with it and I'm gonna fill in pretty thick this is what I'm talking about if you had too much paint on this other spot it would just make a big blob of 
solid color. But this is what I want at this point, so I'm just going to put it thick and then on the edge I'm going to kind of fuzz it out. And now I can just kind of, now that I don't have a whole lot of that light color in my brush, I can use it and just kind of barely put a, a little bit of it over here and just kind of blend it out like that. And then over here, I'm going to put more of this light blue. color on the edge here. Alright, and now for the face, I'm going to take this light color, and it's a little different. It's almost more like the fur is brushed, like here it's kind of like cotton here, but this is kind of like shorter here, and it's, it's like a different texture. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to pull down right here where... I had the nose, but it's going to be, the nose is going to be under this. And then I'm going to go round. So now I'm pulling. I'm pulling instead of going in circles. Pulling this. And then it's going to, at this point, it's going to start going in different directions. I can do it up and down like this. And then when I come up here, I can kind of curve it because it's going to be going around the eye. I'm going to go down some water to it. It's a little thinner. And then wipe most of that off because I don't I still don't want a whole lot of paint on my brush. Alright, and then 
leave in here. It's going to be a little bit. All right. So now we are getting a little bit more detail. It still looks pretty funny right now, <laughs> but um, we're going to get it better. So let's rinse that out. And I'm going to put in my eyeballs and my nose. So I'm going to take this number one round. It's a Princeton Velvet Touch, but it's a pretty small brush. And I'm going to do my eyes and my nose. So I'm going to get the blue and the brown. And it's going to make a pretty dark color. And I'm, that's the only thing I'm going to use is those two colors. It's going to make it really dark. And... I'm going to say the ears are a little bit small at the moment. I should probably make them bigger, but I'm going to put one eye here. So I'm going to kind of curve and then do another curve this way. And then another curve. Right there. And then this eye come across. I'm going to put right here. There's its eyeballs. It might need another coat, but now I'm going to do his nose. So I'm going to first, I'm going to find where I want like its mouth to go. So I think I'm going to put it. right in here I'm just going to not going to worry about the bottom cuz that's going to be like white and then I'm going to do a little bit of a line. I'm going to do a nose right here. So, two thicker lines, and then I'm going to do some of this dark out here, because you want some dark underneath that light color, but I'm not going to do it in as solid, just so we can see where the nose is better. And then all in here, I'm just going to brush a little bit of dark up above. I'll get some of this lighter color. And kind of blend it in. Alright, 
So that's it's looking better just with the eye and the nose. You can see that that looks a little better, so we can see it's an animal now. Um, I'm going to do something to the ears. I'm going to take this scrubby brush. I'm going to take this dark color and I'm going to put that. It's the same color I used before in the ear. And put some on this side too. And then I'm going to get some Umbleach Titanium, make it lighter. I'm going to get some brown and use it so that maybe it'll not be so bright. Alright, and then over here some brown and add that maybe some unbleached titanium make it lighter here all right there and now I'll rinse that out because I don't want to start doing the fur and it be pink. <laughs> Have a pink sheep. Um, so I don't want to do the ears yet because that's still drying. So it might pick up some of that pink. But I'll do the face some more. So now I'll get my brighter white. And again, you don't want a whole lot. But I'm going to kind of put it on the top of his head. And I'm just going to kind of... See, I have too much. I'm going to... Kind of put some hair kind of coming up. I think it's kind of fluffy on top. And then I'll coming down a little bit. I'm just going to kind of try to make a little bit of an edge from the head to the ear. This is going to be one of our top layers, so you want to be a little more careful. You know, this layer we just did is going to be kind of hidden, so we did, it's kind of funny looking in a few spots, but that's pretty much going to be covered up. But this layer is going to show quite a bit. And if you do mess up, you can cover over it. You can take the gray and cover it up. But it'll be easier if we can just get this layer to look good. And 
don't have to worry about fixing it. where it starts going down and sideways. going on the edge all right Take my white, go underneath its chin, and I need to gonna make it fluffy. And then you can go to this side where the black was a little. go and now do some white here and I'll do some lighter colors back here now so you can still let those other colors show a little bit.
you can see um, through the white, you can tell the different colors that we had. It was like a dark here and then more of a brown here. So that's why the layers we did underneath were important. Take some of this darker color. And I'm gonna put some here. Um, I'm gonna take my white again and make this like here brighter see as much texture it's just really bright white some blue and put some blue in this white color it's kind of got a blue look to it over here And now I'll get my unbleached titanium and I can add some white to it so it's not, it's just a little lighter. And I'll put this in a few areas where I want it to be kind of more of a warm, neutral color. So you can see how much more interesting the painting is when it's got a little bit of color, like some browns and blues, than if it was just all like black and white. Could put some in here. So now I'm going to try to work on the ears, put some 
white on the ears. So I'm just going to take that white some white down over the ear here. I'm just going to kind of pull down a little bit, make some fuzzy texture. white in the ear so it's kind of like there's some fuzzy hair in the ear all right and then I'll go on the other side and do the same thing just go on top of the gray Get some thicker, brighter white over the top. So they're going to need more later. But looks better. And now it looks kind of looks kind of funny down here. Like, I need to kind of make not so much of the dark show.
I'm getting some really bright white. I'm going to try to put some white really bright on its head. So I'm just basically layering with all these different colors. There's not a lot different that I'm doing with each one. I'm just going to keep layering until it looks better. take my round brush again and do some details on the nose. So I want you, I'm going to have the nose like point up to each eye. Then it's going to be really dark under here. to get some unbleached titanium and just put a little bit of a lighter color
All right. Now for the eyes, I'll just kind of cover it over them a little bit when I do the lighter color. So I'm just going to go back over them. And then rinse that out. While that dries, I'm going to do some more on the ears real quick. I just want to add a little bit more of a lighter color here and there. Add some more over here. so it's kind of like highlighted a little bit. Alright, and then I'm going to take some of that dark. I'm going to water it down a little bit. It's not super bright. I'm just going to put like a dark line here by the eyes. And put some darker in a few spots. We need some dark. Alright, I'm going to take some of my dark and put some little dots. And then I'll take some of my white 
And I'll do some like eyelashes over. Over the eye a little bit. Just take a little bit more of my white I think that's pretty good. So, I'm gonna get some of this dark and just I think that's pretty good. So I'll take my pin here that I used to sign. It's a Faber Castell Pit Artist pin. the sheep, the lamb, um, might just add a little bit of white Go over here. hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure when you're done with your painting you wash your brushes out real good with soap and water so that they'll last longer. Um, I post a new video every Friday on my channel Emily Powers Art so if you click Emily Powers Art right below the video then it'll take you to my channel and you can see some of my other videos. Um, and like I said, the links, there's some links in the description to some of the supplies I was using. Um, and I get a percentage of the purchase. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll put up on the screen um, the schedule that I have 
for the rest of this month. So the we already did those first two, and then the other three will be coming out soon. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.